Google has been rumored to be getting into virtual reality for quite a while now, but at Google I.O. 2016 they actually showed off their very first mobile virtual reality platform. Hey what's up everyone, CTN Technology News here, and in this video I'm going to be going over exactly what Google showed off so far. So Google's new VR platform is called Daydream, and it's actually built right on top of Android N, which means it's not going to be competing with the PC-powered HTC Vive or Oculus Rift. It's more powerful than cardboard though, and it definitely represents a big step in the push to advance VR out of its early stages. This is basically just a version of Android 4 VR. It's just a backbone of software inside Android N called VR Mode that provides users with an entire ecosystem to play around in. There's going to be a home screen with apps, which actually looks a lot like the Gear VR's home screen, and Google's already created special versions of its own apps like Street View, the Google Play Store, Play Movies, YouTube, and Google Photos. Other companies like the New York Times, HBO, Ubisoft, and EA are also developing for Daydream as well. The biggest limitation so far seems to be that it'll actually only work on new phones that have special sensors and screens. Some of these Daydream Ready phones are going to be available this fall, and we can expect to see them from Samsung, HTC, LG, and just a lot of Android phone makers. Just to be clear though, Google hasn't actually announced its very own VR headset just yet. They did show off a reference design for a smartphone powered VR headset that looks a lot like a smaller cordless Oculus Rift, and they did also show off a motion control with a touchpad, but for now it's just all blueprints which means that nothing is exactly ready to go on sale just yet. Google does actually make its own phone reference designs in the form of Nexus devices though, so it really is anyone's guess whether we'll actually see a real Google VR headset as Daydream evolves, or if we'll just get to keep getting more blueprints in the future. Sure. Regardless though, Daydream is actually a really big step forward for virtual reality, and I can't wait to see more about how Android's actually going to be interacting with this. With that said, give me your opinions on Daydream in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and you're excited about Google's new VR platform, and I will see you next time.